Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Morning Guides, a YouTube channel that main goal is to make you better at editing. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can turn a 2D photo into a 3D using DaVinci Resolve. And before the tutorial starts, I want to apologize for the terrible result that you're about to see at the end. But however, the goal of this tutorial is to introduce you to the method. And anyway, at the end of this tutorial, if you decided that this video was helpful to you, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps a lot and I appreciate everyone that is doing that. So now we can begin with the tutorial. After you have your 2D photo, you can go into the Fusion tab. Hold Alt Space so you can open the Node tools. Then type Displace or DSP and connect it to your two nodes that you already have. Then add a background node. Then add a merge node to the background node. Then add another background node to the merge node. This time we're gonna change the color of the background node to a gray. Then you need to add the polygon mask to background too. And the first mask that I'm gonna be doing is the hair. Then go on the right side on the softness and set it up around 0 0.1000. Then click on the merge one and add another background node. Change this background node again to a grey and add another polygon mask to that background. This time I'm gonna draw a mask on her forehead. When I finish doing the mask again I'm going on the softness and I'm setting it to 0 0.1000. And you can repeat this process for every part of the face. The more you go in details the more clear is gonna be the final result. And after you're done with everything that you want to mask, you can select all the nodes from the above. Right click and select group. Then connect this group to the displace node. Then you can select the displace node. And by moving these arrows on the middle of the photo, you can see that you're creating a 3D effect. Moving all the masking that you've done. And you can easily create the keyframes on the right side of the center hex Y by marking the diamond, selecting part of the clip, then moving the image, then selecting further into the clip and that way you're creating a keyframes and now you can check out what I just did. It's really far away from being any good but I hope you got the idea of the effect and you can implement it in your projects. Like, comment and subscribe will be appreciated and see you in the next video.